my gosh, look at these beautiful bees. I'm a bit more excited because I get to teach people about bees for a whole month. Well, almost. I'm in the process of getting an experiential learning block, working with the good of the hive. So I'll go out to South and North Carolina and work with Matt um, on different initiatives to kind of like promote and do public outreach to teach people about bees and what Matt's doing and just really excited about it, just going through a couple more loops uh, with paperwork and getting people on board and flights and everything and then we're there. If you're wondering what the good of the hive is, it's an initiative created by Matt Willey to personally paint 50,000 honeybees, the number necessary for a healthy, thriving hive, in murals around the world. To raise awareness about the current struggles and population decline of honeybees while celebrating their incredible behaviors. Right now, we are in Carbro, North Carolina, painting a mural on a fire station. I've been thinking a lot lately about the interconnectedness of honeybees with everything. This mural is a great example of all the honeybees wrapped up with each other in the flowers, acting as kind of like the flower's legs, because bees are so important in pollinating things. They pollinate one third of the food we eat, and it's awesome to see that represented in such a beautiful, artistic way. My name is Matthew Campbell, and I'm a beekeeper here in Carbro. Carbro puts a lot of effort into uh, making it a bee-friendly place. It's been a lot of fun seeing the mural uh, take shape. I'm hopeful that it'll help to educate people about uh, bees and, and bee health in general and that people will see it and maybe ask questions about uh, honeybees and all pollinators. My first film shoot here with the good of the hive. We've got Matt painting some flowers and Nick the filmmaker here with his drone. Okay, even if like, <laughs> I mean, you're not. It's true. Just like, like, wow! Like it's, I'm a ninja. Yeah, it's <laughs> on there so tight. Like, you can loosen feel like, it. Loosen it. <laughs> remember this the last time? Yeah, I was yeah. like, you had the way you like in my bed. eyes start bugging out. It's so tight. One of the firefighters had a great idea of strapping Matt up to the fire truck and hanging him down as he painted. As I saw him soaring through the air connected to a fire truck, I could see how he embraces his inner bee almost like he is the bee. One of the most impactful parts of the Good of the Hive is the interactions that happen at mural sites. No matter who it is that can come observe the message of the mural, as well as talk to Matt and I, have the ability to leave knowing more about the environment and have a different view of honeybees. This is Matt painting a mural. <laughs> Texting, talking on the phone, having a cup of coffee. I should always just have a cup of coffee. 